Hey guys, Motor Car Nut here, and today we're working on the Honda. We're doing the timing, valve timing, and oil pump timing. That's often mi uh, missed on a lot of these uh, videos. On um, it's the K24. All right, this engine is 2.4 liter. It's found in the Accord, the CRV, the Odyssey, the Cross Tour Element, uh, the ninth generation Honda C uh, Civic Si. And the Acura ILX, TSX, and TLX. All those cars have the, this engine. It's a very popular engine. And today we're going to set up the timing. I'll show you how to do it the right way. A lot of people forget the bottom half. The engines have vibration and they wonder why. And I'm going to, you know, hopefully address that today. Okay, so now there's a lot of timing marks on this engine. And sometimes you need a couple of little special tools, but I'll show you with a couple of drill bits, you don't need really special tools. So what you want to do is you want to put the, the crankshaft at top that center. Now, if everything is off, you just make sure the pistons are not all the way up. So what you do, if you're not sure, put a screwdriver in there or something very lightly. Turn the engine, just make sure they're all a little bit below. Why that matters is if it's at top that center and you start adjusting the... Um, the um, cams, the valves could hit, and you think it's like an interference, you, you won't know, and you'll push it, and you could bend the valve. It's not, you know, extremely hard to bend them, but it could happen. All right, so what you do, you set number one top, to, I mean, top dead, uh, top dead center, number one cylinder. The cylinder, number one cylinder is always to the front of the engine where the timing chain or timing belt is. All right, now over here, you're going to see a couple of marks now. Let me get a screwdriver so I can point to them. Top dead center, you're going to see the keyway of the crank pulley. And over here is going to be a dot. An arrow, actually, a triangle arrow. Let me see if I can zoom that in. See that? Triangular arrow with this triangular arrow. Now, the bottom chain is the oil pump, which more importantly is the balance shafts are connected to that. So if that's not set up properly, you're going to have problems. Now, there's going to be a different color link. All right, we're going to flip the engine over and I'm going to show you how to do everything. But up here, I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is a different color link. Clear it up. You see, it's like a little uh, more shinier than these. You'll see them. And then the one on the bottom is going to have two color links with a dot and it's gonna go in between the dot. So right now we're doing over here on the crankshaft, the single color link lines up with here and here. These three line up, okay? Then you go on the top over here, and you're gonna see, okay, I'm sorry, and then out down here, you have another dot or a line. You're gonna have a line, see this little line? That has to match up with this, this different color link. You see it's a diff different color, okay? And it's a single link with a line. All right, that one has to line up too. Now when we get to the cams, all right, you're gonna have a dot and two different color links, you see that? And it goes in between, okay? And the same thing on this side, you got a dot and you have two different color links and it goes in between. And the little arrow here is up and over here you have your two lines all right, they're uh, horizontal, okay? And then, it's always good, you see the valves, they're, they're closed, they're supposed to be closed, see? Up, the lobes are up, they're all up, valves are closed, you can adjust the valve lash, I'm gonna make a video on that. These have adjustable um, valve lash, not hydraulic. All right, so you come around on this side, just to verify, what you're gonna do, and, and, and it's a good idea to put these in first before you line it up, so the, cause when the, the cam, the variable valve timing, it can move, and you know, when you're putting the chain on, it may be a little tough to do it, so these are kinda of hold, they want a special tool here, but you can use, you can use um, anything they can get in there, like I'm using right here, um, drill bits. All right, let me take this one out so you can see. And you see the hole in there? All right, the hole in there, and then there's a hole in the um, head itself. And then you just slide this in until it's all the way in on both sides. Okay, and, that, and that's how you know you're perfectly timed. Okay? Now that's where most of these videos stop. 
But that's not the, the whole situation with these cars because they have their calendar balance down there. And if you do a timing chain and you turn it, or it could be off, or you had a vibration problem to begin with, you have to set up complete timing. All right, so now, to my recap here before I flip the engine over, is on the bottom, we're looking for a lot of marks over here. We're looking for the crankshaft, keyway, we're looking for the triangle here, triangle on the block, and the silver link to the bottom chain, okay? And this colored link to the line, there's a line there. You see that line right there, okay? And on the top, we have dot in between two different color links, same thing over here, and in the back, the two pins are in. That is complete time engine, of course, that's, that's when you release your um, time and chain tensioner. And, and another thing on these engines would fail a lot of these time and chain tensioners. I'm gonna show you what a bad one looks like. So right now we're doing this. Now we're gonna flip it over so I can give you a better view. You're gonna to have to drop the pan. So I'm gonna flip it over to give you a better view for the video. Okay, so now it's flipped over. Now I wanted you to uh, understand, you have to do this all in one shot, okay? You don't, you don't uh, skimp, sk uh, skimp on it. Uh, you want the engine to run right, it's a big job. You do it in the car, it's even bigger, all right? You wanna um, do it right the first time, okay? So now we know we have that Single link over here with the dot that I showed you before. And over here, let me just zoom this in again. Line up the, uh, the dot with the two different color links right in the center. But that dot also has to line up right here. You see this? That's also another mark. And that's how you know that that's lined up. All right. And another thing, there's a little alignment hole right here. Now in that hole, it's going to have on one of the balance shafts a little hole. So they both have to line up. If it don't line up, it's gonna just go like this. This one, see it goes all the way in. It's all the way lined so you know that everything is lined up properly. You put your uh, timing, after you put the uh, chain on, then you're gonna, you know, sometimes this chain, you may not be able to get it off if it's, you know, if you wanna redo the timing. What you can do is hold this in the back over here with a lock wrench really tight and get it off on an impact. All right, that'll work. And then, you know, reinstall it the same way. All right, it should be torqued, but once it's all down and everything, you can re that bolt once all the chains are holding it in. Uh, and uh, don't forget, everything has to be torqued on these engines. Okay, so now, then you put your, um, your guides on, then you put the uh, time and chain tensioner. This one doesn't seem to fail as much as the top one, but if you're doing a new job, you know, and you, it's your car and you want to spend the extra money for reassurance, it's not a bad idea to get a new time and chain tensioner. Okay, and then you look around here, just for ver verification, just, I'm just showing you what things look like when they're on proper time. Oh, again, here's lines, here's arrows, they're lined up. Line and arrow, lined up. There are two of them, that's exactly how it has to look. And that's how you know the whole entire engine is in complete time. And you have peace of mind when you put all these covers back. And if you're doing it in a car, it's a lot of work. Doing it out of cost, a little bit more work, and you do it right, and you do it once. All right, guys, motor car nut, please subscribe, hit, hit that like button. Any questions pertaining to the video, leave them below. I answer all my questions. If you learned something today, saves you some money, I would appreciate a donation to the channel, PayPal, or the Super Thanks. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.